tractor lifts, seated lift. The door of the tractor is modified to open 95 degrees. The person sits on the seated lift and uses a handheld switch to raise the lift. They swivel the seat to face the cab opening, then enter the cab and transfer into tractor seat. Standing lift. This operates the same as the seated lift, but the person is in a semi-standing position using a sit-to-stand stool that is attached to the lift platform. They enter cab by stepping off platform. Hand controls. A knob is used for throttle by pushing forward. Switches are used for clutch and brake pedals. Cables are attached to the clutch and brake pedals for use with the switches. A cable housing box controls the cable's movement to prevent any slack in the cable. Brake control, directional pedals, bucket control. The hand controls in these tractors control the brake, the directional pedals, and the bucket. This enables the user's other hand to be free so they can control the steering wheel. The brake pedal is controlled by pushing the hand control forward. The forward and reverse pedals are controlled with a hand lever mounted to the brake control. This also moves the bucket up and down. This tractor uses a smaller lever for use with one finger to control the direction of the tractor and the bucket movement. A throttle brake control was added to the operational joystick in a Bobcat 5600 4x4. Alternate steering. John Deere 8260R tractor. Single axis joystick input device with a Trimble steering motor. The joystick is moved to the left or to the right to control the steering motor, which then moves the steering wheel. The tires are moving in relation to the steering wheel. The tractor is seen moving with the alternate steering. John Deere S660 Combine. The same joystick steering device is used to control the steering wheel and the tires are seen moving in relation with the steering wheel. Front loading seats. A riding lawnmower with a motorized seat on a track that moves the user from the front of the mower back into the driver's position.
Skid Steer. The user drives the skid steer into the garage area. Once stopped, he uses a handheld switch to move the seat out of the cab. The seat lowers and he transfers into his manual wheelchair.